Mike have finished higher than Defensive Player of the Year Nick Bosa. Yeah. And I thought that's why Nick Bosa won the award, because he was more disruptive last year than, than, than Michael Parsons. That's not to say Michael didn't have an outstanding year. I thought he had an outstanding year. I think he tapered off towards the end, which indicates to me that he probably had something going on lower body-wise is the reason why he got off to that fast start and kind of tapered down the stretch. I but think he, he just got worn down. And he, and he yeah. was still and he was still a little uh he was still he was still productive, yeah. but not as productive as he was over the first three quarters of the season, Skip. So for me, I I I'm looking, I mean, Bosa had more pressures, he had more hurries, he had five more sacks, he had two fewer turnovers called by pressure. And so they say what what gets me are the turnover worthy plays. Either the guy turned the ball over or he didn't, Skip. That's what I base it on. Because guess what? They ain't no general manager, ain't no owner playing somebody. Man, you know he had like 17 touchdown worthy throws. Yeah. Did he throw a touchdown or not? Mm. He had 17. Oh, he almost had 17 plays that was uh, sack worthy. Did he get the sack or not? So all this, they, they need to miss me. I, I, I'm a skip out. It was sometimes it just come down to did you or did you not? Okay. Because that's what sports is. Yep. You win or you lost. So all this close and worthy plays of this and that, I, you can miss me with that. But I thought Nick Bosa won the Defensive Player of the Year award, mm -hmm. rightfully so, because he was a little more disruptive mm -hmm. than Michael Parsons. And that's not to say Michael didn't have a good year, because I thought he had a very good year. Mm -hmm. Not a great year, a very good year, considering that I thought he was going to really build on what he, has, had he did, what he did his rookie year, Skip. I thought he was going to have like 17, 18 sacks. I really did. I really did. Because uh, So did I. I said he'd be Defensive Player of the Year. He tailed off. Nick Bosa won it because he should have won it. Okay. Was I shocked by this? I was. Yeah. But I was pleasantly shocked right. because I'm a big fan. Right. Not only of his team, but of him. Right. And I must admit, I was a little concerned. I was a little sort of startled by his quietness over the last five or six games because he fell off. He had one sack in the, the two playoff games, but he had one and a half over the last six games. It's just, it's not Micah. Right. It's not 11 from heaven. Right. It's not my old Micah, right. my guy. And yet, was he beat up? Was he worn down? Did he get engulfed by too many 350-pound offensive tackles? Did he get chipped <laughs> by too many sort of cheap shoddy, blindside, you know, sneak attack, chip blocks by those backs. Running backs and tight ends, sure. They just come and just sneak attack you yeah. and just bang on you, and it, it doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I got that. But the other day, I wasn't real pleased when he was talking about, I want to focus on impact plays versus sacks. And I said, no, just own it because you're that dude, man. Right. You, you got it. Right. God was good. God said, you can do this. <laughs> and... I, I impact plays. He wants to be more like Aaron Donald. Okay, I, I hear you. But but the truth is, these stats back up impact. The, these stats are saying, yeah, that's exactly what you should focus on right. because it came down. It was very close. And as the guy who put this together for NFL.com said, that it was a narrow miss by Nick Bosa to be number one on this list. But it came down to turnovers caused, not not maybe caused, yeah. turnovers that were caused yeah. by pressure were the differentiator, says this article right. on NFL.com. Micah had five of them last year, right. and it was more than Bosa. Right. And it gave him a, the slightest of edges. But I did love, love the conclusion because this says, I'm, I'm going to quote the article, while Micah Parsons finished as the runner-up for Defensive Player of the Year award for a second straight season. His reputation has quickly been solidified. Number 11 instills fear in every opposing offense. I, I'm going to take that to my football bank because yeah. that's the truth. Yeah. And But you don't think Bosa does that? Uh, does he? Listen, to my eye, at the, going down the stretch of right. the year, and obviously they played against each other in the playoff game, Nick Bosa is hellacious. We're, <laughs> we're, you, you can the, the, the sort of the the eye test watching it right. on TV. It just it just seems like yeah. the physicality of yeah. it, the force of it, mm -hmm. is a little beyond even Micah. It's why I, I'm already going all the way out into the future. It's, it's why I got Dallas at San Francisco in the NFC Championship game, and I'm going to give San Francisco right. the edge at San Francisco right. because of Kyle and the run game. I don't even know who their quarterback's going to be. I assume it's going to be Brock Purdy, but right. I just think they're going to be really, really good. And he's a big reason why Nick Yeah, Wilson. but, Skip, to Micah, I do see defensive player of the year, years, in his future. It's yep. going to be interesting to see 
how he carries the additional weight that he wanted to he put says on. 10 pounds of muscle. Right. Okay. He says, well, and by get, the way, 10 pounds is 10 pounds. Yeah. Okay. And you you got to get your body used to you carrying it. You do. And so. Are you going to lose a touch of quickness? Explosiveness? Maybe. Maybe a touch? Maybe. Yep. Maybe. Okay. Will that. Will that serve you well down the stretch? Can you bang away a little better? Right, Can right, Take right. the beating a little yes. better? Okay. Yes. I got it. Listen, every time I watch him run, I'm just talking about running at, two, what do we say, what is two, 245, one, two, 250, 250. 50. Okay. easy. He takes my breath while I see these off-season runs, he's jacking around and racing somebody, mm -hmm. and I say, that's special, man. Yeah. You, you just don't, oh, yeah, you don't sure. see it. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, un he's an yeah. undeniable talent. Yeah, he's, it, it's why, as a rookie, he would do things every, you know, once a game, he'd do something where you'd say, that's it right there. That, that's why we got a shot. Next year, he, he went so far the other day as to compare this defense to one you know up close and personal <laughs> really well, the 2000 Ravens. I did a whole podcast topic on this because that was a stunning reach for him to make, and I'm okay with it. Right. You said the rules don't allow you to do to quarterbacks what those mm -hmm. what Ray or Lewis and they did or receivers, but yeah, this defense I think it's going to be the best defense in pro football, and he is a big reason why. As is Dan Quinn, so I'm pleasantly shocked that this is saying what it says. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be pleasantly shocked if you guys finish 500. Really? Yeah. Well, do you want to? Couple of cases on that right now. I'll take. Nah, nah, nah. I'll take over 500 for 10 cases. No, nah, y'all might be 10 to 6. Oh, okay, well then you just backed off. You okay. want 10? I'll be 10 to 6. I'll be you. You normally. I see 12 and 5. I see 13 and 4. Their schedule is about twice as hard as it was last year. Seriously. Are you? What, are you? So is Philly. Are you the Cowboys or not? Are they the Eagles? Are you or the Cowboys? Don't, don't, we don't, don't, don't you worry Bowl. about Jalen Hurts. Don't you worry about Hurts. Okay. Don't you worry about the Green. I got Don't you worry about the green machine. I got 10 cases that Dallas wins the East. Just wins the East. That's all I got. Win a, you, hold on, win the division? Yes. I mean, you're bad. Bad. Thank you. Oh, good well, y'all not winning no division. Y'all <laughs> okay. the Cowboys. Thank you. When y'all win anything? Every other year. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then lose the first round. <laughs> the <laughs> this is our year. I this is our year. This is our year. Yeah. I want to see Micah Parsons in week two get after Aaron Rodgers when mm. they play the Jets. Mm. That's going to be good. Yeah. All right, guys, <laughs> let's get back to these finals. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.